Hey kids, it's Pastor Rich here. My birthday is on August 17th. And so later in the summer, I'll have an opportunity, Lord willing, to celebrate my birthday. And sometimes, I don't know if it'll happen this year, but sometimes in the past, I've actually got to enjoy two or three birthday parties. Uh, one with my family and then maybe uh, celebrate my birthday with uh, some of my friends or another part of my family. Uh, probably some of you have experienced that too. And it's great to have multiple birthday parties. But even though I might have different birthday parties, I only have one birthday, one day where I celebrate with other people the day that I was physically born. But do you know that as a Christian, I can actually say that I have two birthdays in a sense because I have one day where I was physically born but then there is another day when I was spiritually born you know the Bible teaches that all of us are sinners we've all fallen short of the glory of God and even before we came out of our mama's tummy uh, we were sinners and that's a bad thing because sin leads to death and sin leads to eternal punishment and the only hope for us is that by God's grace we would be made new creations in Christ and trust in Jesus Christ we need to be born again of the Spirit now today I want to read uh, a story to you about Nicodemus, a spiritual leader in Israel who came to uh, talk to Jesus and to find out who Jesus was. And so we're going to read that story and then I want to read to you a passage out of the, the book of John, uh, the third chapter, where we read about Jesus and Nicodemus. And I want to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, something Jesus says to Nicodemus about a story that we've talked about, I believe we've talked about in the past about the Israelites. And so first we'll read, uh, we'll read the story of Jesus and Nicodemus, and then I want to talk to you about something that Jesus uh, says uh, to Nicodemus when they meet. One night, long after most people were asleep, a man walked along the streets of Jerusalem. The man's name was Nicodemus. Do you see him? He was one of the leaders who liked Jesus, but he also thought that Jesus was mistaken. He knew that Jesus had what Jesus had done in the temple, and he wanted to remind Jesus that the temple was an important place in God's kingdom. At last, he found the home where Jesus was staying. Jesus and Nicodemus sat down to talk. Nicodemus began, We know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus replied, Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus was surprised. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Then Jesus told Nicodemus that no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Nicodemus did not understand. Could he, couldn't he see the kingdom of God without being born again? After all, he could see the temple. Wasn't that a sign of God's kingdom? Couldn't he enter the kingdom without being born again? After all, he was in Abraham's family line. Wasn't that a sign that he had already entered the kingdom of God when he was born? Jesus hinted from God's holy book about God's spirit who brings new life. He tried to help Nicodemus understand. Jesus explained that Nicodemus had not been born into God's kingdom. Instead, God's kingdom had to be born in him. But sad to say, Nicodemus, a teacher of God's holy book, did not yet understand. He went out again into the dark night, confused. But some would understand. Others would not take so long to believe that Jesus was sent from God. Others would see and be born again. In John chapter 3, we're told that Jesus says this to Nicodemus. No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. 
And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. You might remember the story that we find in the Old Testament. Uh, Jesus was reminding Nicodemus of this story. And Nicodemus was a spiritual leader in Israel, and he knew the Old Testament very well. And so Nicodemus would remember this story. Jesus was talking here uh, about a time when the people of Israel had been brought out of the land of slavery, the land of Egypt, by God, uh, their Redeemer. And the people of Israel had sadly sinned against God, and God had brought fiery serpents into their camp. And the people, some of them were bit by these snakes, and sadly some of them even died. But then God showed mercy, and he showed patience, and he showed uh, forgiveness for his people, and he gave Moses instruction to make a bronze serpent and to put that bronze snake on top of a pole so that if anyone was bit by the snakes, they could look to that serpent, they were to look to that serpent, and they would not die. Well, Jesus tells Nicodemus that he also, like the bronze serpent, is going to be lifted up. But Jesus is not going to be lifted up on a pole. Jesus has come to live a perfect life and to die on the cross, taking the punishment for the sin of those who will trust in him. This is how he's going to be lifted up. He's going to be lifted up when he is crucified on the cross so that everyone who is a sinner who will look to Jesus, who will believe in him, may have eternal life. Now, I hope all of you uh, have wonderful birthdays this year, but my greatest hope for you is that if you cannot say already that you have two birthdays, my hope and my prayer for you is that one day very soon you will be able to say that you have been born physically but that you have also been born of the Spirit. You have been made a new creation in Christ Jesus. And as that new creation, you have trusted in Him and you have turned away from your sins. You've been born again. And remember, the way that you can know that you've been born again is that you're trusting in Jesus. This is how we know that we've been born again. Well, until next time, I love you guys and I miss you. Bye-bye.